Hey guys, it's Amber and Autumn. And for today's video, we are actually going to be doing a butterfly costume and makeup. So it's basically like the Snapchat filter, you know, your favorite one. Yeah. That makeup tutorial because that's what she's going to be for Halloween. So yeah, yeah. let's get started. Yeah. The first step is to definitely put your hair back and then after that, make sure to get some foundation or concealer and just cover up any spots that you don't want showing or just cover the whole face if you really want to go all out. Next, I'm going to start doing some contouring, so I've gotten a shade darker than her skin tone, maybe even two shades, just to make it a little more pop out, and I'm getting it, and I'm going just down the side of her cheekbone, so it really accentuates some of the high cheekbones. The way I'm doing this is I'm using a really soft brush for the eyeshadow that I'm using going down her cheekbones. And then after that, I'm using a beauty blender to make it really smooth and just blend in well. By the way, if you're wondering what's on Amber's lips, we had cupcakes before this. Down the streets, I go the city, I go everywhere you go. From Chicago to the coast, you tell me you can see, let's go, go to smoke back to Continuing with more contouring, I'm just getting her hair out of her face and using the same shade that I used for her cheekbones, but on the upper forehead to make it look sunken in more. The third part of the contouring is under the chin, and this just gives it a more depth kind of look, just like the filter has, and so I'm just using it just below her chin. The last part of the contouring is on the nose, so I'm just putting a little bit of the same shade just on the sides of her nose, just two straight lines all the way down as you can see, and then I'm just blending them with the beauty blender again. This makes it look more like the filter which has a little more defined of a nose which is really hard to get in real life, so which is why we are contouring the nose. Also make sure to add some highlights wherever we contoured. Now moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm just getting a very just white eyeshadow to use as a base and I'm just putting it all over the eyelid. Then I'm getting a darker brown, but not as dark as the one I used for contouring, just so it doesn't mix too much. And I'm using that just all over the eyelid, mostly in the crease, though. Next, I'm adding a good amount of silver eyeshadow, too, but not all over the eyelid, just in the places that I find necessary. Next, using an angled eyeliner brush, I'm getting a mocha colored eyeshadow, and since eyeshadow is a lot more softer than eyeliner, I decided to go for that because the look isn't as bold, and so I'm using that to go all the way across the eyelid as eyeliner. Also, once again, once I've gotten all the way to the inside of the eye, Towards the crease, I've bent it upward to a V on the inside of the eyelid. Then 
Then I'm using a really gold, really shimmery eyeshadow just to go pretty much all over but making sure I can still see the base and the other colors that I left on earlier. But I'm also going just under the eyelid, around the crease, and up towards the eyebrow. Also, this part is optional. We did not decide to do it, but you can also just get some eyebrow gel, shape the eyebrow, and fill it in. Or you can also put on false lashes or lots of mascara. Now for lips, we are getting a coffee colored and we are lining the lip. We also decided to fill it in a little bit just so it looks a little more natural. Then using a nude lipstick, we are going to fill in the lips completely. Ours was nude with a little tint of pink, and I think that actually worked out better. Now I'm just going through the entire face, adding some finishing touches and making it look a little bit more glamorous and more like the filter. And I'm doing this by getting a white shimmer eyeshadow and going that towards the inner eyelid. And then getting the golden shimmer eyeshadow and I'm going all around the eye. The last step is to get some very, very light pink blush. And just putting it around the cheek, but make sure to go above where we contoured. And this just gives it a really soft look and make sure that the blush is really unnoticeable until you get really close because that's what gives it a really cool effect. And that is how you do a DIY Snapchat butterfly makeup. And I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave us a thumbs up if it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, bye!